yo hello everyone welcome to my channel please make sure you subscribe right so i can keep dropping more interesting content so today i'm talking about object level security right and how can you apply object level security to your project your power bi report right it is very essential that when you are planning a project you should have a strategy for ols it is object level security it's nothing serious right you know the default in power bi in your power bi when you publish the report this year model like you link these different tables together when you publish it to power bi service everybody have access to all columns and all table right people have access to columns and table so where object level security is being applied is when you actually restrict an access for a particular club look at this so i'm restricting an access on manager name this simply means that i don't want some people to be able to have access to this right so when i publish this report to service i can apply this ols and share this report to some people that won't have access to manager name Aside from columns, you can also restrict access to table as well. You don't want someone to have access to a particular table in your report. You can actually apply OLS to it. So you're putting a restriction on a table. If I deploy this, this is basically telling me that the user that I'm sharing this with, we have access to this first table here and also this table, but we don't have access to, the, uh, to this particular one, right? And that is what OLS means. You are restricting access for column and table. Now let's jump into my demo and show you some interesting thing uh, that you can do with OLS. Now looking at this report, I just uh, do a small demo report for uh, uh, this video. Now looking at this, I have a uh, different report here. I have a report that says sales by model, I have a report by unit sold. Let's say for example, I don't want some specific people to have access to uh, unit sold, right? So I have access to unit sold. What do I need to do? I'll come to modeling and I'll come to uh, manage here. So right now I'm going to click security uh, group, right? So I click on manage room. And what do I do from here? I just create a row, right? And I'm going to call this row OLS. Just OLS. I'm not doing anything else, right? I'm just creating a row and I'm saving this. Now, after doing this, what is also essential for you to have is tabular model. So if you don't have that in your external tool for Power BI before, make sure you have tabular editor, right? Make sure you have tabular editor. You can download it online. I can drop the link of where to download Tabla Editor for you uh, in the video description. Now, once you click on Tabla model, from your Tabla model, you can actually do a lot. You can do a lot of things, but today we are focusing on object level security. Now, immediately I come to rows under my Tabla model rows, you see the OLS here, right? The OLS, the row that I created. Now, down here, when you scroll down a little bit, you see security. And under security, I have. Uh, row level security and i have table permissions which is ols right so i can expand this table permission and decide to restrict permission from some table let's say for example i want to deny a permission from lob lob table i'll just change this default here to none right i'll just change this to none so once i change this to none i'll save my tabla editor i'll come back to my power bi and let's see how this looks like from Power BI. So what I did actually is to restrict access from my D uh, uh, LOB or D model, which table do I use? All right. So I'm going to come here and view as. So once I click on view as, I want to view as OLS. Remember the access I I denied something on, right? And that was on D LOB. Look at this. Can you see that D LOB has disappeared from my uh, uh, model? I can see D LOB here again, and this slicer is related to D LOB has been disappeared right so let me stop viewing this okay so that is me just restricting access from a specific table i can go back to my tabular editor again and uh i, I really don't want to do that i don't want to restrict access but in some cases people actually do that when you have different reports you are deploying and then maybe you have hr reports in your report you have sales report you just want to uh um, hide hr data from your reports right so you can actually do that so from here, I can go back to my OLS and change this table permission. Uh, I'm currently restricting um, uh, uh, people from seeing DLOB. So I'm going to do that, change that to default, right? Change that to default. Another thing is column, right? So I can go to the specific table itself. Look at this specific table. But the column I don't like my users to see here is unit two, right? I want to deny access from some people to see unit two. I really want you to see the sales, right? 
So I can come here to my facts table where I have um, all the columns. So this is unit sold. So unit sold here, and when I scroll down, I click on unit sold. When I scroll down, you will see object level security down here, right? Just expand it, object level security. Then down here, I will see the default. I can change this to none as well. So once I change this to none and I save it, I save it. Let me go back to um, my Power BI and let's be as role. So remember what I did? I I actually restrict access from unit zone. And what is this doing? This is technically restricting access from anything unit zone. This is total unit zone. That means I don't want to see this. Um, I don't want to see anything related to unit zone. Even if there are measures related to unit zone here. Look at it down here, these two measures. These two measures will disappear from my report, right? So let me come here and click on view as ONS and click OK. Now look at this. So can you see that this has disappeared right now? And this is also based on uh, uh, unit zone. This visual is also based on unit zone. And look at this. Even look at my measure. You, can, you, may, you, you notice that there's nothing like unit zone in my measure. Everything that's based on unit zone is not currently showing, right? So, so this is how to actually deploy an OLS, right? Now, just to look at how this is going to look like on, um, in fact, if you look at this from visualization point of view, uh, you will see that there's nothing under value again, right? Because this is based on unit zone. Now, to look at how this is going to really work on my Power BI service, so I'm going to publish this report to Power BI service, so we'll, we'll see how this is going to look like on the service so let me click on publish to publish this report yeah i've successfully published my report and this is the workspace that i published it to so i can go to the report just like rule level security so i can click on this three dot for the data set and click on security now from here i can see the role that i i, I created right then i can start assigning people I can start assigning different people to this role um i'm going to assign someone to this role yep I'm going to assign this person to this role and I can even test as this person so I can come here and see test as role. So once I test, uh, no let me do this, don't, don't save, I just want to test. Once I test this, so this is how the person I share the reports with is going to see this and then everything related to unit to the black, right? That is it. Thank you so much. If you like this video, please hit the subscribe button so I can keep dropping more interesting content. Thank you.